Okay. So a couple of months ago, before they started, before we had our lockdown, our quarantine lockdown, my church, or the church that I used to attend, was saying that we weren't going to have church the following Sunday. And there's another church that I attend on Sunday night, and I was like in this group chat with everyone, the, and I said, hey, you know, because there was two people from my morning church that I attended that uh, would come on Sunday nights anyway at this other church. So I was like, well, hey, you know, if, if, if you feel that or you feel the need to be in God's house, you are welcome to come to Friendship Chapel. They'll be open this Sunday morning and blah, 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 right? And I mean, I got, I got attacked. Like, that is just so tacky. And we and the eldership have decided that we're going to close church to keep our church family safe. Okay. Now, and I mean, they got all over me. I, I, man, I cried about that for a week. And then they just looked for anything that they could to kick me out of the church. That's another story. That's not what this is about. I'm watching John, John MacArthur. I'm watching Jack Hibbs, who I think he has, like, usually, last Sunday he had 14,000 people in church, even though California is saying you have to shut your churches down. He and John MacArthur are saying, no, we're not. Because think about it, after the 9-11, what did people do? They were scared. They didn't know what was going on and what was going to happen next. And they ran to the churches for hope, for peace, for comfort, right? And with this COVID going on and all these people dying from COVID, there's a lot of people that are losing hope. That's why the suicide rate's up, you know? And they're, they're needing to be in church because there they can find peace and comfort and and God, you know, because there's a lot of people that would probably give their life to Jesus just to know that there's some hope. Teach them about Titus 2.13, waiting on our, or looking for our blessed hope, and to let them know that no matter how bad things get in this world, if, if we've given our life to Jesus, that the worst that they can do is kill this vessel that we're in, kill this body, but to be absent from the body, be present with God. And a lot of people aren't going to be able to get that if they close the churches. And a lot of people, like I was one of them, was kind of scared at first with this COVID thing. And I wanted to be in the house of God. As it turns out, they closed all the churches, so no one got to go that Sunday anyway. But I was just watching this video, uh, The Watchman, which has been on youtube channel for years and it does uh, end time studies and keeps you caught up with the biblical perspectives of prophecy fulfilled and all that stuff as far as the times that we're in it's excellent excellent uh world news and whatnot and there this they were interviewing john MacArthur, and then i watched a thing last night with jack hibbs and charlie kirk and he was talking about that you know, he is, he's like, I'm sorry. He says, we honored Romans 13 the first time when Trump said, well, just close it for a couple of weeks. And so he said, so we did, no problem. And then Trump said, well, just go ahead and close it for another week. And she says, we were like, okay, we'll close, no problem. And then Trump says, well, I'm just going to turn it over to the local government. And that's when Newsom decided he was going to just shut it. And Jack Hibbs said, I'm not doing that. I'm not shutting my church down. People need God now more than ever. He had 14,000 people in church last Sunday. So to those that jumped all over me for suggesting, shame on you. I'll pray for you. God bless.